What is an array and how do you use it in AutoCAD? That's a question most people have when they're starting to get into AutoCAD and when they get somewhere down the line and they're trying to figure things out. Uh, today we're going to be teaching you what an array is, what it's used for, and how you can use it to your advantage while you're using AutoCAD. Thanks for tuning in and let's get right into it. So to start, what is an array? So simply put, an array is a tool that is used to create copies of objects and arranges them in a pattern. This can be used for circles, rectangles, blocks, anything, you name it, you can put into an array in AutoCAD. There are different types of arrays, but today's, in today's video we're only going to deal with rectangular arrays. There are also polar arrays and path arrays, which we'll get into in a bit. So I'm just going to describe what rectangular arrays are. Rectangular arrays are the most common, and they're used to create copies of an object in a rectangular pattern. That's what we're going to be using today, and it is the most commonly used type of array. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make a rectangular array. If you're learning, wanting to learn how to do polar and path arrays, we're going to have videos coming out about that in the next few weeks. Um, just stay tuned and you will be able to see those. So let's get right into it. So you're going to see here I have created a pipe on my drawing and I have this valve and I want this valve to go down the length of my pipe but I don't want to have to copy and paste the pipe valve wherever I go down the pipe and have to manually measure it every single time. That's where arrays come in. So, to get right into it, what you want to do is you're going to want to select what you want to create an, of an array, type in array, and the array will pop up. Press enter, and then you're going to have to select an array type. Uh, it should be noted that if you don't know, if you don't want to do that, you can come up here and just click the array button and then click your object, press enter, and you'll get the exact same thing that we're getting and seeing here. Um, so, for this one, we're just going to click rectangular. So, click rectangular, and you're going to see that I've already got. Um, an array started. So AutoCAD gives you a base starting point of what you can do. Uh, you can edit this and I'm going to show you how to edit that in a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to see that hey I only have one pipe. I don't want it to be three valves high because I've only got one pipe. Now you can edit in multiple different ways. So you can see up here you can do precise edits to your array up in the array creation bar. So you can edit the amount of columns, you can edit the amount of rows, the amount of levels. So the levels and uh, everything is all something that's dealt with with when, when you're doing 3D AutoCAD if you've got let's say a four-story building or whatever and you want to put in a pipe on all four stories at the same time um, you can you can you can do that we're not going to be dealing with that right now that'll be in another video um, and then you can also you can also edit what's in between you know the total distance in between the total distance for rows and columns um, but what I like to do is I usually only deal or when I'm using this, I only usually edit um, the in-between section. I don't always do that because sometimes you don't have to. In this case, I'm not going to, um, but that's how you can edit your array. If that seems confusing to you and you're like, well, I just need to get something out quick. I just need it to be done, you know, relatively quickly. Then what you can do is if you can come down here, you can see you're going to have a few, you're going to have a few grab tools here that you can edit your array with. So the first one we're going to start with is the one in the top right hand corner. That is the square. If you click the square, you can edit your array and grow it in both directions. So you can edit the columns and the rows. So if you see here, if I pull back this way, you know, I'm getting rid of the uh, columns. If I go down this way, I'm getting rid of the rows. So you can see how this tool, this can be very, very helpful when you're trying to deal with this. One thing to mention is you're going to see my spacing is absolutely atrocious for this. We'll get into that in a minute. So that's one way you can edit that. So as you can see, I've brought it back down to four and I want to get rid of the second row. So I'm just going to click here and I'm actually going to show you how to do that in the other direction because I could have just dragged it down and only had um, the rows going and just completely erase the second row. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it another way. So what I'm going to do is if you go and click on this triangle right here and you pull down, that will get rid of it. So one thing to note is uh, you're going to see I have two now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this across to see how many I want. And then you're going to see I have another tool here that shows me the spacing between them and I can pull that. And when I click that and I adjust that, that'll, sh that'll give me spacing and it'll evenly space out all of my valves or whatever you're doing, your tables, your chairs, whatever, according to how far you pull it and where you want it to be. Uh, this isn't as precise as just going in and adjusting it up here in the top the top uh, ribbon here, uh, but it, it, it will work. So I'm just going to go here and, uh, you know, you can see it, it tells me my maximum distance, as you can see, where it says polar, right where my cursor is. 
that's the maximum distance it's going. So you can adjust that to what you need it to be. And you can just kind of ballpark it and click where you want it to go. So like, eh, let's say I want it to be here. I click it there and there you have it. My array is complete. Um, if I had another pipe um, up and I wanted to make it go up, I could, you know, redo the array and make it go up. But for my pipe, that's what I want. And this is absolutely perfected. Um, so I'm going to give you another example of what you can use arrays for. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to, I'm going to, create a circle. I'm going to come here. I'm going to create a circle and I'm going to make a grid that goes in both directions. So you're going to have rows and columns and I'm going to adjust the spacing both in the rows and the columns just to show you how that would work in a, in a space like that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click my array and you can see I have my array and right off the hop I can adjust the spacing. So I can go here. I'm going to adjust my spacing. I'll put it at let's do 17 feet total because I can. Again, if you do need to do more precise editing um, and you're wondering, okay, well, where is your, you know, um, where would you edit this? That would be up here. You know, you can go in, you can adjust in between the columns. So I'll just show you what that works looks like in a sec. So if I do 10, press enter, it's, you can see that it's significantly closed. If I do 20, it'll open a little bit. Um, it's doing it in inches. If I do 20 feet, then you can see that it's a little better. So that's how you would adjust it manually. Um, I can also adjust it up and create the array and make it a little larger. You know, let's say I'm making, um, I don't know, those are just like rain barrel collections around a yard or whatever. Um, you can adjust it like that. Uh, one thing, another thing you can note is I have my arrays set to associative when I am creating my arrays. Um, that just means that the base point for how my array is created is my object. Uh, if you select base point, then you can select somewhere on your drawing where you will be then pulling and adjusting your array from. So I'll just show you that in a sec. So let's say I want it here. As you can see, these triangles and the squares and everything that I would use before to edit the array are now away from my main object. They're not in the object. They're away from the object. Uh, I never use base point. I always use the associative. Um, but uh, that's just something I thought you guys should know. Um, so that, that pretty much sums it up for our array video. Um, we're going to be getting in, we're going to go and do, you know, circular and um, the other types of arrays in a, in a few weeks. Um, but uh, this one was just a quick video because, you know, I think a lot of people wanted this video, but uh, we just haven't been able to put it out. And I thank you for that. Um, to wrap this up, you know, if you are interested in learning how to do 3D modeling or 2D uh, modeling in AutoCAD, uh, and you want to learn how to do it on a more professional level, we do offer courses on our website. Um, and we have just announced that we are going to do our courses. Um, they're new, they're coming up, and we're going to allow people to put them on payment plans. So our payment plans are start as low as $17 a month for our lowest priced course. Um, and it goes up to, I think, $100 a month, and that's for a year. So you'd pay that every month for a year. You'll have instant access the first month to the course, so you'll pay your $17. You'll have instant access. You can do it all in the first month, um, and then you pay it over the course of the year because uh, we've had a lot of people that have said, you know, they can't really afford um, our courses if and that payment plans would help them a little bit better. So that's something we've done for you. Uh, currently, we only have three courses offered for that. So, you know, that's that's our AutoCAD Revit and Civil 3D combined course. That is on a payment plan. Our AutoCAD 2D course is on a payment plan. And our AutoCAD 3D course is currently on a payment plan. So those are the only ones we have up right now. Um, so, you know, we have our Revit and, Auto and Civil 3D main courses. They're going to be coming out um, later on this year. Our AutoCAD courses will be coming out later this year. Um, and they're going to be really long, comprehensive courses. Each course is going to have about 15 hours of content um, to about 30 hours of content. Um, so you're getting good bang for your buck and you're learning from people who work in the industry. Uh, so hopefully that helps out. Uh, and we'd like to thank you guys for all your support. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, leave a comment, come and check out our website, and uh, we'll help you in any way we can. Uh, we'll see you in next week's video. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, until next time, see you later.